think she's not having any water. She's refusing water this time. Um, and she can dehydrate very, very quickly, so it can be quite dangerous. So obviously I'm, I'm worried, you know, I, I love her like crazy. She's my wife, um, but I'm also going to support her in everything that she does. You know, she has such strong moral conviction. Um, and I think, I think, you know, as a, as a husband, I'm totally going to be behind her in every decision that she makes. Emma's uh, currently being held in custody uh, for a relatively minor crime. Um, she committed criminal damage on a government building. Um, they've decided not to give her any bail conditions. Um, they, previously, she's broken bail several times, so they've kind of deemed her as a serial bail break. In a custody cell, you don't have any windows uh, and the fluorescent lights are left on so they, they can check on your well-being for 24 hours. Um, so that's, it's not particularly a nice environment to be in for such a long period of time. Well, I'm here um, and we're here in support of Emma, um, who took action along with other members of our group, XR Scientists, to protest the government's, um, I suppose, new energy plan to basically fund more oil and gas, and, um, which, is, which is insanity. And it's, it's completely against every recommendation. We shouldn't have to protest. Uh, we produce, we produce data, we produce recommendations um, that governments should act on. Um, she shouldn't be in that situation in the first place, and no, no one should. That the police are um, implementing a, uh, um, an action on behalf of the government which is, which is wrong, that we should be allowed to peacefully protest and reach the people about these crises that we're facing around biodiversity and around climate change. And the arrest of scientists, keeping them from speaking out, we feel is, is wrong um, and it's, it's preventing us from actually reaching the public with important scientific messages that are coming out of international research.